Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is ProStar Technical, and here today we are here to show you this recent installation of 96 species of 650 watts solar panels for an installation that we just concluded. As you can see on the roof, these are the panels. Yes, you can show them around. These are the panels of this installation, and this installation was done for a three-phase system. And in this system, we used 8, 8 kVA. Put two 8 kVA for one phase, another two 8 kVA in another phase, another two 8 kVA in another phase. That's a three-phase installation. And these panels were connected 8, 8 in series to each inverter. And this each inverter has two MPPT slots. So we'll be going around to show you the complete panel, set of panels. Some are on this roof and some are on another roof adjacent to this one. And from there, we'll also be going down to show you the inverter room, how and what and what this system is powering in this establishment. So for now, we'll just take you around to show you the panels. We have some panels here and some in this side. And total, we have 96 panels. So let's go forward and show you the other panels in the other roof. We are here now and I'm going to show you the other panels. We look straight forward here. This is another set of panels on this roof. These are the panels that completed it 96. So we have some panels on this side and some panels on this side. In total, we have 96 panels for this installation, all 650 watts. Thank you very much. We'll be going down now to show you the inverter room, to show you our installation that we did as is powering this facility. Both the resistive loads, all the loads in this facility is being powered by this solar system. Thank you. We are going down now. Follow up. Yeah, as you can see, my colleagues, I will just explain uh, the process of the solar panel installation. We have a net system panel of 650 kilowatts of 50 watts. So now, what we have here, we have a 650 kilowatt uh, little battery, but this place, this place is very small, but we just have to manage it because of the, of the capacity of the load that is going to pick. I can see we have 8 kVA, we have explained that, we have 8 kVA, so, so we have this uh, system together. So, uh, Jack is going to be explained to you, for those of you that ask how to power to the water and how to power to the water, it's going to be explained to you. You can see, when, when he's talking about uh, PV spray, uh, this is the two PV, PV1. If you check, we have uh, PV1 and uh, PV2. So, if you want to know, this is it. This is PV1, PV2. Right now, it's showing zero volts because uh, there is no more sunlight, so that is why it's showing zero loads. So now these two, our uh, each of these three is uh, eight eight. So each inverter is carrying uh, sixteen pieces of uh, six fifty watt uh, solar panel. It's an high voltage system, and each and the maximum voltage of uh, this inverter is five hundred volts. So in each of these three, so. You can see, and uh, we also have uh, other wire, so we make it phase one, and uh, this uh, line two, the yellow phase. So the same thing applicable. So when you sum all the total panel together, sixteen times uh, six uh, inverter is going to give you that ninety-six uh, solar panel. So and this is exactly what we did. Uh, you can see we have different panel here different digital panel we have nepa as, as you can see we have nepa and we have generator one we have generator two we have gen generator three so now what we are using now is solar you can see the solar breaker is turned on if for instance maybe uh they have issue with the solar or the battery have run down they will just bring this particular breaker down them and turn to generator or any of the nepal source that you want to use so likewise uh, because the beauty is massive so 
This panel is designed into theory session. Build one, build two, and build theory. So that is exactly uh, they say they say generator, inverter, and the Nepal line that is here is also the same uh, uh, applicable to this very panel. You can see this. You can see what we, what we wrote here. This is 415 because it's still fixed. This is strictly inverter bus bar 415. Anytime inverter is on, you will see 415 volts here. In case maybe you want to take your telephone or power your telephone or lift, you can take your power here. These are these are the apartments that this inverter is is picking up. It's already labeled. Let us assume that you don't you want to use any of this uh, any of this uh, apartment. It's just for you to turn it on. If you are not using it, you turn it off. Although there's a card on that particular apartment. But for now, we don't turn it off because there's nobody in the apartment. And this is a theory. This is a 4 co 250 ounce breaker. The reason why we introduce this 450, this 254 co breaker, because we don't want our neutral, we don't want our inverter neutral to have contact with the NEPA neutral or the generator neutral, except we decide to turn it on. You, you can see this when labor general solar maybe you want to put it on general solar board the ac the water heater the all the inductive modes what we inductive mode we are talking about the ac the water heater your iron your coca unit you want to put it on the on inductive mode you just take it to general solar so that is what uh, we we label here and also we also introduce uh, this charging because of the uh, because of the size of the of the inverter and the size of the battery, you have to do your calculation, know the type of changeover you are going to use maybe to carry uh, that can carry your your charging system during charging because it requires a very high high uh, system because during charging and depends of the depends of the of the charging you set your inverter to is up to 120 amps charging current. So if your generator is not doesn't have that capacity to, to charge your lithium battery because during charging you are going to drain more current, you have to reduce your your setting from your inverter. So Mr. Jack is going to be showing you more light on the, that particular how to uh, set your charging current. So now if you want to use, if you're in Nigeria, when I mean NEPA or PFCN, you already understand what we are talking about. We mean grid. So I mean grid. Other source of grid that is to charge your, to charge your, your, your inverter, to charge your battery outside your solar panel. Because these are hybrid inverter. What we mean hybrid inverter it means that other source can flow through it to charge your battery. So you can see, if in prevention, maybe the own generator at night, there's no more PV, there's no sun to charge your battery, it's just for you to take it to generator. Well, now that there is NEPA, so now that there is NEPA, so we take it to NEPA. So now I'm also going to show you something for those of you that are asking us uh, for protection. So now we are going to be talking about protection, using your ABS is very, very important. So let me not make this video work, I'm going to show you I'm going to make video and explain to you why you need protection system. After this video, we are going to make uh, other video for, for protection system. Why you need to introduce ABS. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, our mission is why you need steady speed. If you have any question, please can you don't feel share with us. And uh, if you believe that uh, we are not doing the right thing, also write, write us. So we also learn from you, you know. Remember, our mission is why you still is here. God bless you. You can reach us on our phone number. If you're outside the country, you can reach us on plus two three four eight one six zero four four nine seven three six. If you're in Nigeria, you can reach us on zero seven zero at zero forty nine twelve seventy six, or you can also reach us on that number zero eight one. 
1644 96. God bless.